So we're going to make a simple through hole puller to be able to pull the through hole out from the outside of the boat. This is not unscrewing the through hole. You have to unscrew your through hole and it's 5200 it in and you got flanges. I'm sorry, you just have a rough life. If you can get the flange off or the seacock off and the through hole is ready to be pulled out but it's still put in with like 5200, this will help to pull it out. So what you need to do this, small chunk of wood, you know, six, seven, eight, nine inches long. You'll need a couple other smaller pieces of a two by four. We're gonna attach those like that. I got a half inch carriage bolt. Uh, this is eight inches long. The reason I got the carriage bolt is because it's threaded for a lot further down. Most of your bolts are only threaded for like an inch and a half and I want to have all of the thread that I can possibly have. So I got a half inch carriage bolt, eight inches long, a nut that fits the end of it. I got a couple fender washers that are wide and that also fit that. And then over at Home Depot in the uh, framing section by the lumber, there's this big heavy duty steel washer that's kind of a, it's a galvanized like mounting plate. And that also fits on here, but this is kind of heavy duty. So then you're going to need a drill with a drill bit that's a little larger than the bolt. A couple little screws to screw these other little two bys on the bottom. So I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Doesn't really matter on this. I'm just going to go somewhere in the center and I'm going to drill a hole through. Watch out on the bottom side so you don't ruin your wife's salon couch. Well, that's it, just like that. Bolt's gonna fit just fine. So I'm gonna take these two guys, I'm gonna put them on the bottom, I'm gonna spread them out wider than my through hole that I'm gonna be pulling, and I'm gonna screw them in. It helps to pre-drill a hole through this guy. It makes it easier to screw a little larger than the screw. This isn't a structural thing, it's just, just giving me some space. So this is going to go on the bottom of the boat, outside, boom. So you're going to take this right here and you're going to drop it through the through hole from up above and this big flange is going to hook on the through hole. Then you're going to run the bolt through here Throw a washer on there and a nut on there. And then as we tighten this nut up like that, it's going to pull the through hole out. Now you may have to adjust uh, these heights a little bit for whatever through hole you have. I'm hoping this is going to be long enough to reach all the way in to get mine. Um, if it doesn't, I'm going to have to have shorter ones and then as it comes out, add in a thicker one to do. So. Let's see if it fits. Start filming, Liberty. Okay, so as you can see, I got the through hole or the carriage bolt Wait. sticking through. I have enough length, that's a good sign. So I'm going to put that over, throw a couple washers on there, grab the nut. Spin that guy on there. So then you just grab a wrench. We're going to put this on here. And hopefully it's going to start coming out. You see it move? a little crooked so I'm just going to reposition this for a sec. <laughs> you can see that 5200. See how strong that stuff is? It pulled it right back up in there. There we go. A little more centered. And 
out it comes. And once I get out to where I hit my boards, if I need more room and it's not loose enough to come out, you can build this space back up with another board. Whew, it's mostly out. Hit my board. And it can be anything you can find laying on the ground in the boat yard. Think this was ever gonna fall out on its own? That might be as far down as it can go from the inside. We'll have to finish the rest by hand. You think we had to do some polling? See how, how those are? I am still gonna need to wrench to unscrew the rest of this. This is only gonna go in as far as the washer will hit the inside of the boat, so. But now we got a bite on it. So now we can finish it off. We can go get another tool. All right, Liberty, turn it on. I don't usually like to use something like this because it really does chew up the end. We're not actually reusing this. We're getting rid of it entirely, but uh, Right now, it's the best tool for the job, I think. In case I do want to use it, I'm trying not to bugger up the threads. It's still pretty hard to turn. Got it. Hello! So now the next hard part is I gotta dig out all this 5200 before I can fiberglass this in. That's gonna be fun. That's it with Tech Tuesday's Tips with Todd. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and if you like what we're doing, consider becoming a patron and uh, supporting us that way. Thanks, we'll see you later.